Hi, this is Thomas from MarsMoonSpace.com. I have an update for you on Mars Orbiter Anomaly number 1, aka known as the Jupiter 2 UFO found by my good friend Brad Collins Shepard. Because today you will see the first picture from Google Earth of the same anomaly you have in the background here. This is the same area, this is the same place on Google Earth with a little bit help from my good friend Neville Thompson. What are we looking at here? Because I don't directly see the Jupiter 2 UFO. Did NASA remove it? What happened to it? We know the Google Earth uses a lower resolution image than the one you could download from NASA. I'm gonna talk to Brad on a little bit noisy line on Skype. So let's call him and hear what he has to say about this one. I have with me on Skype today Brad Collins Shepard. You all know Brad. Brad was uh, the one that found the uh, fantastic find uh, of what has been described as the Jupiter 2 UFO on, on the MOC uh, Mars Orbiter Camera image. That is an awesome image. And I was looking at Google Earth and found the area on Google Earth, the Mars version, on Mars of course, where this Jupiter 2 UFO was at the MOC image from NASA and guess what there was no Jupiter 2 on the low resolution image that was used to the Google Mars version hello Brad welcome oh, nice to be here it's always good to have you here <laughs> yeah there's a little noise uh, on, on the line here but uh, I hope we all survived that <laughs> Oh yeah. yeah, it's uh, the computer is very slow. Mm. So I sent you the pictures from uh, uh, Google Earth, the Mars or Google Mars. I better call it Google Mars, not to to make any people think it's Google Earth we are looking at. But Google Mars, uh, I sent you the images. What do you think of those images? Uh, well, uh, the um, uh, Google Google Earth and Google Moon and Google Mars have a have a certain um, way that style that they do images and they're sort of layered in different um, pixel layers and um, in order to fit that image into their little program um, they they really lower the resolution drastically um, that's one thing that they do to get it into their program um, they can't use like high resolution it's already a poor platform you know for anomalies or something like that it's interesting that um, that the software itself saw it as as an anomaly because it's it's obfuscated. So uh, it makes sense even to the computer when um, they transferred the zeros and ones from one side to the other. So the the computer actually saw it as an anomaly, and it it op automatically obfuscated it. Because it wasn't supposed to be there, you know. That's that's one explanation. Um, that you know, it, it's it's just um, simply kind of messed up because of the software that they used. Um, but, 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 but but we know but, but, that uh, the picture where where you found the Jupiter two UFO was a high resolution image from the Mars yes. orbiter camera. Yes, and that is still there. That still that one there. is still yes. there. So, yes. so you know, NASA they don't have an interest in covering that up no. so far. No. You know, so that's mm. nice. <laughs> <laughs> we can still go in. I was not looking at it yesterday here, and it's, it, yes, it is still there on, on, on NASA's site. <laughs> yeah, but it didn't fly away yet. Yeah, it's still there. But that would mean that, that the picture we could trust would be the high resolution MOC uh, image that we also put linked up to to on, on the page where we yeah. showed you. It's, the it's basically a, what I what I would call a time anomaly because it was the picture was taken back in the 60s, you know, so it, it's it was there at that time, mm. <laughs> you know, so it's sort of a time anomaly. And um, who knows what's there now? Yeah. You know, could be a city or something. You know, for all we know. My um, my, my first thought w w when I saw the Google Earth, uh, Google Mars picture of the same area, and I couldn't find the Jupiter Two UFO. I, 
if you look at the image, I'm, I'm sitting and looking at it here, I see what, what looks like a site where there once was something that's gone now. Is there any chance in life that the Jupiter 2 actually took off and this is a, a later image uh, taken of the area where it was parked, so to speak, or, or the landing site? Yeah, that, that is the possibility that it's not an obfuscation of souls in, and that is a change in that little particular area. That That's always a possibility, completely. So, so, so it could be that the Jupiter 2 actually took off? And yeah, I would like to think so. Mm -hmm. <laughs> When I yeah, am, am, am looking at Google Earth, uh, uh, the Mars version here, I'm seeing that there are uh, three MOC images uh, taken, uh, covering uh, the same area, and none of the three MOC image images is ex ex actually on Google Mars uh, uh, fully uh, uh, visible. Uh, you only see two-thirds of one of the MOC images, uh, and then it becomes yellow in, in, in one of the s in, in the left side of uh, the Google Mars uh, uh, version. Uh, yeah. It seems like uh, my thought is that it could be that they might have been using some uh, of the later uh, uh, satellite images from, from some of the other uh, satellites. We had the high rise uh, uh, satellite that uh, the Mars. Uh, uh, survey uh, satellite. Also, the we 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 had a lot of satellites <laughs> up there. Actually, I, I don't actually yeah. uh, uh, on my standing feet able to say how many we actually yeah. have. But but could that picture be, be taken later by some of those? No, no, no. no. The the lighting is the same, and the and the um, what do you call it? The flight path or whatnot? You can't get that exactly the same. No. And, and that's um, it's the same lighting and the same angle and everything, though. Mm. Well, not. Mm. It's, it's difficult enough just to even get something there to take pictures. So the Google so Earth uh, Mars uh, version uh, is from the MOC camera? Oh, yeah. Yeah, all right, all right. Brad, thank you for spending five minutes with me to talk about this one. I still love the Jupiter 2 <laughs> UFO, and I will do everything I can to share I, to I, that. I love you very much. I love it too. It's really awesome. Yeah, it is. <laughs> I, I will do everything I can to share that picture worldwide as long as I'm alive, because that is, in my opinion, Mars Orbiter Anomaly number one. Thank you for joining us, Brad. You're welcome. Thank you.